This is the eighth part of a series intended to help you learn how to use the features of the Family Search Research Wiki to locate genealogical records about your ancestors who lived in Germany. At this point, you should have discovered the name of your ancestor's town in Germany. If you don't know that yet, you need to go back and watch some of the earlier videos in this series that will teach you how to look for that in the records in the United States. This article, Finding Aids for German Records, will help you to learn more about that town and where the records for that town were kept. The link for this article is in the notes below the video. After you find the name of your ancestor's town, you still will have work that needs to be done. The town might only be a small village and had no church of its own. So you'll have to figure out for that village where the people attended Catholic church and where they attended Lutheran church. If you are looking for records after 1876, you'll be looking at civil registration records. So you'll need to know where the civil registration office was for that town. In the 1970s, offices were consolidated, and so you might be looking for one location for the records prior to then, and then a current location for the records. I will be discussing a lot of steps, and you might feel a little bit intimidated. There is a help group the Central Europe Genealogy Research Community that can help you further to follow the instructions that I give in this video and in the article. If you are lucky, all these questions can be answered with just a quick visit to the Family Search catalog. Enter your town's name in the Place search field. In this case, I just put in Open Road, and the catalog automatically added Hessen, Germany for me. So here is for Open Road. And there are church records, and there are civil registration records. Looking on the civil registration records, this link takes you directly to digitized records. This camera is also a link to online records. We're going to be looking at two important gazetteers, Meyer's 1871 Gazetteer and Kartenmeister, which are both online. Myers lists all the place names in Germany as it was in 1871. By simply typing in your town, you will come to a list of all the different towns by that name. I choose the one I want. Here is the entry page. It's right down here. It tells you where the Standesamt or the Civil Registration Office was for Schonsee. We also find out that there is a Catholic church in Schonsee. Back at the top, you can click on Ecclesiastical and get information on all the churches for several miles around. Kartenmeister is a listing of all the towns in the sections of Germany that were lost to other countries after World War II. Scroll down to the search field and enter the name of the town you're interested in. Again, you'll find a list of all of the possible towns. The entry gives you the name of the town the current name of the town in Poland, the Polish province, the location of the Lutheran Church, the Catholic Church, and the Standesamt. Parish register inventories are reference books that were compiled for each province in Germany, showing you for every little town and village which Lutheran parish or Catholic parish that little locality would be in. Most of them are set up in a table. This is the second page, so it's not showing the name of the town. That's out of sight. But once you found the town, you browse across the page until you find these columns, which tell you the location of both parishes and the civil registration office. These inventories for several provinces have been digitized and placed online. You can find the list and the links in Finding Aids for German Records. If you haven't discovered the parish information you need at this point, then you'll want to use Kevin Hansen's Map Guide to German Parish Registers. It gives detailed maps of the parishes and the entire thing is indexed. There's an online course. If you don't have access to the library in Salt Lake City, Utah, 
Here are some other options for accessing this very important guide. The Finding Aids for German Records article gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to find out where the current Standesamt is today. Now you try it. Remember that the volunteers of the Central Europe Genealogy Research Community can support you as you work through these steps if you find them confusing. Check for your town in the Family Search catalog, if possible, to learn what records are available on microfilm or digitized. Use the reference aids and their links found in Finding Aids for German Records to discover the address of the Standesamt, the location of the Lutheran Parish Church, and the location of the Catholic Parish Church for your town in Germany.